All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Roko. Uh, we're back at it again, again, playing God of War. Uh, we're near the end, I believe. Uh, 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 I think, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I just uh, posted part thirteen of my God of War play. I'm certain we're near the, the, the end. We're getting close, getting close to it. But uh, but I don't want to see, like, no, no, uh, no, like ruin it i want to spoil it uh and um and, and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like share and subscribe uh you can also, also follow me on social media the links will be in the description uh, yeah I'm, like, i don't want to spoil it because i'm um, just for those who do who haven't played the god, god of war game at all or you know because I, I just don't want to like you know ruin everything ruin storyline because i know this game has, has been out for or for about like four years, but I don't want to like, ju like, like jump uh into like the uh, say the end. I don't want to ruin it. I just want to, you know, you know, record re record gameplay part by part, just building it up. You know, just you know, uh, play naturally. You know, no need to jump way ahead. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's dive right in. Okay. Also, um, if you hear any like say background noise, because I have my my fan on, it's a uh, it's a little this a little close to me, but not too close that I can I can pick up on the on my um, headset mic. But if it does, uh, 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 make sure um, to comment down below if you like at, at the timestamp that the, you hear my fan in the back as the background noise. If you could uh, comment that, I don't understand. Uh, that'd be helpful. I know saving her was the right thing. So I could. Uh, I want to. She seemed all evil. I want to reduce background noise as much as possible. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he For was going to kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If Ooh, it yo. meant you would live. Yes. Damn, critical is hard. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tears Temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Oh, I've been in before. Why did Baldur say we caught him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to your. Uh, let's see the goals. Uh, now he would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. I do one at a time. Why time did missions. Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Right then, where were we? Ah, yes. Thrym the Cunning sought to ransom Thor's stolen hammer for Freya's hand, presenting Odin with a rare opportunity. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back the Omnia and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull, followed by every other giant present for the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foothold in Jotunheim would become his own. He ever revenge himself upon Freya. What is the point of this story, Ed? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. For Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, 
It's that no object of power makes you what you are, and if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. Let's sort you out. In Virginia? What else do I want to do? Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things weren't according to plan... <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way! Probably. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy!
A word, please, before we continue. Oh, shit. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. But I'll wait for you here. This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. <laughs> Watch the head till we return. Oh. I can do this. No, oh, no, I can't. Can. Can oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Of the giants right to the top. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it! We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Sam Chris let's let it all out. He's oh, man. he just give his past up. I mean like they're not done hiding. That's good. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Giants. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody.
Man, I love how the left. I think it came a long way. It's all tricked out. Like a close-up shot, it was pretty cool. Where are they now? The Gens came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. No, it's here. Huh. Who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. Oh, that's them. The first time we met the world serpent. Wow, but how? one touch. And our fight was Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. Calls are predictable. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. Atreus. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. I didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. Oh, he, Balder, she had a plan for us. I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, the cart behind the cart. Alright, let's continue. Damn. Uh, I hope it's saying her name right. Faith. It's already with a bunch of giants. Here, holding a Leviathan next. But I think it's all predictable. From Kratos to the Traces, encounter with the World Serpent, to the fight with Balder. Not knowing. Well, Balder was looking for Faith all along, not knowing she was dead already. And the, and the saga continues behind this curtain. Damn, it was all pretty good, all written out. It's not crazy story, it was Atreus. All for him. Look, 
It's mother's. Oh, she was here. It's here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Oh. Like she was always with us. She is. Watching over us. Always. Leading us home. Let's finish it. All right. Come on, boy. Let's get to it. Team boy. Son. Father and son moment right here. Come a long way. Rest in paradise Giants. angels. They really are all gone. Uh, oh, that's all awesome. There's yeah. nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Oh. Loki. Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? Question for another day. Let us go home. Time to go home. She want to end up here, be with her kind. But did she know it was going to be like up, this? Shout out to this him she and the whole Santa Monica team. Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why do you want to name me a train? Can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope. 
that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. Who you missed it? Prayer, one more time. Shout out to the whole Santa Monica team. This is an incredible game. You are really are perfectionists. Much love. Descended to the land of the giants. Now we're descending. I understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Explore with trash. Continue exploring. Complete door in favors. Free dragons. Travel to meet in Nashville. Muspelheim and Nibelheim. Find new items at the shop to get powerful equipment. This will allow you to defeat all of your corrupt properties. Okay, so I can reveal on your map. Oh, shit. Okay. New game plus allows you to start a new game or maintain your equipment. Can access any time for the end of the game and operation menu. Oh yeah, okay. Let's get Study. I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff for omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, back to Ragnarok. Who's this? Ah, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prof prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimblewind. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't the snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of you. Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Yeah, we... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or, if you're not heading home, same advice. I don't 
doors. Oh, I thought it was doors. I don't want those doors ravens. Oh, the worship is gone? Oh, yeah, I right. Attacked. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, we've yet to discuss the tale of the giant Bergomir. Oh yeah. I remember his shrine. It looked happier than the other ones. Mostly. It begins in an ocean of blood. Finally, a story worth hearing. If you remember, Ymir, the first giant, was fatally stabbed by Odin. It's in his blood our story starts. Ymir's magical guts poured out in a torrent so violent it threatened to flood all of creation. The Jotnar were unprepared, as the very last of them were washed away in the endless tide. Not just Ymir, but all of giant kind faced extinction. And so would Odin's victory have been complete. Ymir's kind did not all perish that day. Staying afloat in the hollowed husk of a tree, the frost giant Bergelmir endured, as did his lady wife. For weeks they sailed, until finally they came upon a new land. They called it Jotunheim. And there they would start anew. As far Father and mother, they would multiply exceedingly, and as king and queen, they worked to make Jotunheim a land where giants would know no master but themselves. Bergomir never sought revenge for Odin's slaughter. His vengeance was to live and prosper. He died at peace, yeah, a legion of his kin to mourn him. He would ever be known as Bergomir the Beloved. Bergomir the Beloved. Huh. I've never heard a story end that way. Not a true one, anyway. You do, laddie. stuff
Thank you, Avalor. For what? For saving me. I... I know I screwed things up before Balder grabbed me. <laughs> you did. But you are my son. There sure is a lot to see here. Follow me, Atreus. On my way. Man, that boy here ain't that far. the unity stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your t Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. What's that? The ball. 